for another episode of Wild Living in Desperate Times, the show where we tackle the everyday challenges facing the people of Haida Gwaii during the COVID pandemic. With my amazing co-host, the legendary island biologist, Stu Crawford. We scour the land, the forest, and the sea to bring you the things that you need during this crisis. All right, why don't we get rolling and go directly to our phones, where I think we have Matilda from Port on the line. Thanks for that very vivid recollection, Matilda. Stu's always very happy to hear compliments from one of his many fans. Why don't you get to uh, what we can do for you today? Well, as you know, with this whole virus thing sneaking up on everyone, wouldn't you know by the time I got to the grocery store, there wasn't a lick of toilet paper on the entire island. We ran out last week, and I've been making do, but my husband, George, careless as he is about most things, he's very picky about his toilet paper, God bless him. He actually refuses to go unless he's got something to wipe with. Well, it's been a week now, and he's starting to look all bloated, and I'm worried he's going to burst again. I tell you, I'm not sitting by his bedside at the hospital for another three weeks while the surgeons turn him backside, right side, inside out again, I tell you. Stu, we need some toilet paper. Can you help us? We've got lots of options, really. Paraguay is, is pretty amazing. We've got more than 500 different species of moss here. Each, each one is a little bit different. Moss. Little different places. Moss, yeah. So I think she was asking about toilet paper. What's the difference? <laughs> That's your oh, okay. Uh, well, let's go on an adventure and find some find some moss in the forest. On our way into one of Stu's secret mossy hiding holes, just wanted to let everyone know that even though we're doing this, we're able to maintain good social distancing. Stu and his family are in their own vehicle. I'm in my own because remember, our vehicles are safe spaces, cars and houses. We don't invite other people into, and we don't go into theirs, so that we're reducing the spread of the virus, keeping everyone safe. So here we've got some peat moss or sphagnum. Many different species of sphagnum and Haida Gwaii. Several different ones we find in the forest. This nice little shape looking like a little truffle tree from Dr. Seuss, a little puff on top. It's really nice and soft. It's absorbent. Really a wonderful moss. It's also nice and moist. 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 Yeah. Wiping with this is great. It doesn't smell like anything. You know, it's antimicrobial as well, so it you know, combats the smells you'd expect from using this for your rectal hygiene. Wow, that feels like an angel's wet hair. Your number one choice is always going to be your sphagnums, your, your peat mosses. There's many different species, different kinds you get in the forest as opposed to the bog, or you happen to get from the alpine, different species there as well. What else you got for us? So this is a moss we'll commonly see around the forest called step moss, Hylocomium splendens, and it is indeed very splendid. So you see it's called step moss because it's got these steps. One, two, three, four. And it grows one step per year. So this is a four-year-old piece of toilet paper for you. It feels quite nice and it's soft so it's not that bad for, for using except that it kind of tends to sort of fall apart on you when you're using it. It's more like you get that toilet paper that you know looks really good in the store but it's really cheap but it always rips on you when you use it and you end up you know your fingers poke through and That's you have to the wash worst. your hands after. So I, I, would, I would say it's more like that. Nice and soft but I wouldn't really rely on it not to kind of fall apart on you when you're using it. Lots of it here. So the step moss, Hylocomium splendens. Is splendid. Splendid. So here we have one of the most common organisms on Haida Gwaii. Parts of our forest are almost 100% this 
one species of moss. You can definitely find it. It is everywhere. Very simple name to remember. It's Ritidia dolphus glorious, and it is very glorious. <laughs> but as for using for a tissue, it's pretty coarse and a little rough, and it kind of falls apart on you. Um, so those bond it, it's like certainly not preferred. Now you've all in that situation, right, where you've done your thing and you reach over and you see the toilet paper's out. It's just empty cardboard rolls sitting there and you have to wipe with the cardboard. I think that's, that's kind of what this is like. If you're stuck using this, it's always there. Something else first would be better, though, you know, it does work. It does work. Uh, another very common moss in Haida Gwaii. Cattail moss, Isothecium myosuroides. This one grows on trees. It's the most common moss you see hanging off tree branches. Very easy to find if you're in the forest. It's very thin, more like a sort of one-ply option. It does the job, but you know, it's definitely not the, the most um, gourmet experience. For... So here we have another option. This is a broom moss or a dicranum. Nice and soft, a great option to use, but it tends to be in little patches like this. So you, it's quite calm around, but you don't get very much of it at once. It's often a little bit lacking just in the quantity, you know? So a good toilet paper, but it's like you're down to the last square on the roll. Good one to use if you can have a satisfying enough handful, but you just don't tend to, to get that. So I'm here with Stu in one of our lovely bogs and uh, we're in search of moss. Sphag, smag, sphagnum, sphagnum moss. Apparently it's everywhere. Amazing, amazing. I might not use toilet paper anymore again. So here we're in one of our bogs. Um, they're pretty amazing places. They're covered in sphagnum or peat moss. All right, sphagnum, any application in the body is gonna be great. Is it edible? Not very edible. That's why there's a whole bunch of sphagnum here because I think eats it. <laughs> okay. It just slowly grows over time. They're pretty distinctive. They're really, really long. These ones probably go down several meters, maybe even three or four or five meters. Right now we're standing on the tops of the sphagnum and the ground is several meters below us. They're super absorbent. So they absorb about 16 times their weight in water. This is by far the best toilet paper there is. You wipe with this, it's kind of like having a built-in bidet because it's a nice moist wipe and it's, yes, it's beautiful. This is the, the ultimate thing for anal hygiene. So they, they were used in the World Wars for uh, bandages. They're much better than cotton bandages. They stop you from getting infection. They don't get smelly or anything either because they just, it just smells like thing. It just feels really nice. That's what it's all about. Yeah. This is a brachometrium or a hoary bog moss. Hoary bog moss. Yeah, it's not as nice and moist and absorbent. But you can use it in a pinch, but if you're in a bog, the sphagnum is much more common. That's making babies here. <laughs> making babies? So there is some sphagnum sex. This explodes and it ejects the spores out about 15 meters per second. It's quite explosive. Wow. Explosive ejaculation of the spores. Only in the right conditions, but. Um, this one's obviously getting ready to make babies. You know, we here at Wild Living always have your back. And we're not afraid to get dirty to bring you solutions that actually work. In the spirit of rigorous scientific methodology, I just drank a whole bottle of laxative so that I could put these mosses to the test and bring you some real answers straight from the horse's mouth. Let's go see how it works. Well, there you have it, folks. The clear winner, sphagnum, or peat moss. Thank you, Stu, for all your amazing knowledge and charisma. And hopefully, Matilda, that this answers your question and will prevent your husband from exploding. Well, that's it for this episode of Wild Living. Hang in there, Haida Gwaii. We still have a ways to go, but we can do this. I believe in you. Big love.
Yeah, my name is Stu.